This balsamic beef casserole is a real crowd pleaser. And for this recipe, I'm using the Simply Better Irish Angus beef casserole slices. So first thing we need to do is heat our skillet pan. I'm gonna put a good drizzle of some Irish rapeseed oil and then some butter. So these are the beef slices here and I love them because they're melting them out and they're an ideal cut for low and slow cooking. So we're gonna literally season them with some salt and then just when the oil and butter is heated up, you literally place them around the skillet pan. So what I'm looking to do is just to lightly color them. So now just a little bit more salt. And then I'm just gonna flip these over. Just a light little color. All you're doing is just literally just sealing them in. Put it onto a clean plate. Now into the same pan, put in some red onion and then just give that a little stir. I'm gonna add in some garlic, because that's gonna give lovely flavors. And I'm gonna use my garlic crusher. Put a little bit of pressure and literally just scoop that just into the casserole pot. So that's the four of them done. And now some thyme. It's a great herb with these beef slices. Now for our liquids. So I'm using the Simply Better balsamic vinegar. Good drizzle of that. Some of the Simply Better honey, which will give lovely sweetness. And then I really love this, it's soy and ginger sauce. So we're gonna put some of that in it too. And then our beautiful Simply Better fresh Irish Angus beef stock. So I'm putting the full tub of that in. So next, my beef. And if you look at this lovely strip of fat, it's gonna melt, become really, really tender and keep the meat really moist. And then many of that beef juice, pop that in there too. Now this needs to just come to the boil. I'm gonna place the lid on it. And then I have the oven preheated at 160. So I'm gonna place that into the oven for two hours until the beef is just melting in that. Now, so after two hours, this is what it looks like. So I've mixed a little bit of corn flour with some cold water. This will just bind everything together. Now, a little bit more salt and then some freshly chopped parsley, which gives lovely freshness, and then stir that through. And that's it ready. So what I like to do is to serve that with some lovely buttery mash, some honey glazed carrots, and just let everyone help themselves. Trust me, this cut is so delicious, melting them out, and it's a perfect casserole any time of the year. <laughs>